He just throws something at me. Push me over the edge. Seems to be some frustration building. Where you at? All right, listen. You just throw something at me? You just throw something at me? Do you hear that? Chris? No, I didn't hear that. Come down this way, please. I really, really like the way Northampton has continued to investigate till the last minute. And Tri-State has just said, you know what, after 10 minutes, we're done, we're out of here. Yeah. I, I don't think that was a smart choice. No. Where are you at? Ooh, how about right here? Just stay with the camera. Come on. I'm your guard. Push me over the edge. The investigations, part two is about ready to come to an end. We'll let them go home, get some sleep. They come back in the morning. We'll present the evidence to the judges and myself. And uh, after that, we will announce who the winner of Paranormal Challenge Eastern State Penitentiary is. I'm going to go in and sound the alarm. All right. Just double check the equipment. I have the one camera. He's got one. Now that both investigations are officially completed, teams must lock up all of their materials and evacuate the premises until morning. Yeah, I feel like we're going to win. We've listened to each other in a group, and we stuck together as a team. It's all a matter of did we get it at the right time. There's plenty here to be gotten. Yeah. No doubt. Just our, our techniques of investigating will help to push us right over that little edge. If we got good evidence if and we, we performed yeah, well, then, uh, then definitely, you know, I think we'll win. The teams return the next morning to review their evidence. Get anything? No. And to help both teams, Zach has brought in tech expert Billy Tolly. He'll present the four most compelling pieces captured during the competition: two audio and two visual. You can see it there. Yeah. It's important to win because just for the simple fact that it increases our credibility as TSPR. It would probably feel more of a crush if we didn't live up to their expectations. Judges, that was a great night, wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You guys ready to tell them how they did? I am. Definitely. Okay, let's bring the teams in. You guys got some good evidence to show us? I think so. Aaron Sagers, let's start off by telling Northampton County paranormal team how they did in their use of history. When you were in cell block 14, seemed to be uh, some forgetfulness about where you were and no mention of history there. Aaron, how did they do in teamwork? There were times when uh, you all came together, you had big plans about what you were going to do, where you are going to investigate, and then it all started falling apart and you didn't follow through. Third category is technology. I really like seeing uh, Chris go into the hole with the uh, solo cam. Uh, Scott, you also spent a fair amount of time in the mad chair uh, with solo cam. But there were times when you all seemed a little overwhelmed by all the technology that you had at your disposal. We are ready to see the evidence. Did you start off with audio? Please show the judges your first clip. Uh, this piece was caught in cell block 12. It says, uh, help me. Help me. Let's listen. Let's listen again. What were you doing to lead up to that? Were you asking, or was this just a piece of audio you picked up as recorders were rolling? I believe we picked that up as we were, yeah, when we were walking. Scott, let's see your uh, second piece of audio evidence and uh, set that up for us as well. This is also in 12. This is an uh, audio caught on video. Video? What kind of video? Uh, this would be full spectrum. And what are we listening for? Just leave. Just leave. Let's replay. 
talking out? Were you asking questions? Were you just? Um, I think we were just walking through walking the through, just... walking through. So Scott, why don't you set this up? Where were you? We were in cell block 14. And what are we looking for? Okay, we actually heard noises up top. It sounded like someone was actually running right here. That hump. Yeah. Yes. And this will go on. It'll actually move on us. Scott, do you have a second piece of visual evidence? Yes, we okay. have a picture. A picture? Tell us about it. Uh, this is going to be an apparition. This is the arm. Right. That would be your left arm. More about? Actually, they discovered the picture. Yeah. Left hand. Yeah. Any questions, judges? Scott. Burke and Chris, you found this this image, right? Yes. And uh, you approve this this image? This image, yes. Okay. That's a tough one. Yeah, it is. Northampton County Paranormal. Thank you, team, very much. Thank you. Try stay paranormal. Please step in. Are you ready to hear how the uh, judges felt you did in each category? Absolutely. Okay. The judges and myself have decided the winner is. Northampton Paranormal has delivered their audio and visual evidence to the judges. Now, Tri-State Paranormal will show their evidence. Are you ready to hear how the uh, judges felt you did in each category? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Alexandra, let's start off using the history. All three of you knew where you were. That's the first thing I want to point out, which is great. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more usage of the history everywhere you went because you obviously knew. How do they do in teamwork? You all three, I feel, led. And I kind of felt that Sharon, even though it's your team, that it wasn't as consistent as I would have liked to have seen it throughout. How do they do in technology? They each used um, all their equipment and knew where each other were with the equipment. Pete, are you going to be presenting the judges with your evidence? Yes, I will. Uh, tell us about this clip. Cell block 14, um, where the children are randomly took a picture down the hall okay. and I said um, I hope you were smiling for the picture please show us your first clip right there there's a no right after that let's replay it faint right yeah very, 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 very faint, faint like very a child yes. yeah. be... Pete did you guys get a second piece of audio evidence yes we did let's bring that up please Billy we're in cell block 12 upstairs uh, second floor on the catwalk <laughs> Am I hearing something kind of derogatory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. Well, it's jail talk. Jail talk. Yes. Yeah. Well, what, what are you? Uh, well, what are you claiming it's saying? Hell no. I don't think they know how to suck. Yeah. Billy, play it again for us a couple times. Definitely hear that suck really, yeah. uh, really well. Did you say you guys were talking? We were talking amongst ourselves. And you can actually but hear the response. whispers are coming up over oh, the top of your voice. Okay. Exactly. So, Pete, how many pieces of visual evidence are you going to be showing the judges? Uh, we have one. One? To show. Okay, tell us what we're, what we're going to see here. Okay, this is cell block four. Tony was holding, holding the uh, thermal, looking towards the rotunda. You'll see it right here. Right. Let's play it again, Billy. Huh. Tri-State Paranormal, thank you very much for uh, presenting the judges with your evidence. You may be released right now, and we'll call you back uh, once we've uh, reached a decision. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got to make a decision here. Only one team can win. As far as teamwork, who had the advantage? I think they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah. Where you had a very strong leader with Scott Wiley, you had a weak team. Leave that there. Point the infrared down this way and give me your freaking hat. Where you had a weaker leader with Sharon, yes. I felt that uh, Tony and, and Pete picked up a lot of the slack. Put the camera here. But if that captures a mist or anything in here while that's closing, I mean, then we know yeah. we got something. In my opinion, the teamwork kind of flushes out for me on both teams. Let's talk about the history. When Northampton uh, went down to, uh, I believe it was cell block 14. Yes. And they started getting all of that history oh. incorrect. What's the story with this cell block? 
think this is where the guard got pushed? They don't remember the history of this cell block, cell block 14. Okay, they so. think this is where the guards were pushed, and they didn't even know where they were. Tri-State had a much better grasp of history. Let's go to technology. Both teams, I think, got some great results using the Melmeter. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was very, very impressed when I saw Scott Wiley come out of that mad chair by himself, and that thing was just going nuts. Uh oh. Uh, Aaron. Uh, talk to me about the audio with both teams. Really liked the um, the help me that Northampton got. I thought that was a pretty strong EVP that they came out of the gate with. They claimed that they picked up some movement on the thermal cam. I didn't see it. Let's talk about Tri-State. Uh, first off, I was very impressed uh, by the, the one EVP they presented right. with the mm -hmm. suck. I could hear all of that. And it was definitely a harsh whisper. Yeah. Uh, I heard the slang that they were talking about. Right. They knew exactly where it was captured. Um, any thoughts on that? Just a great EVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was. Really yeah. I think we know who our winner of Paranormal Challenge Eastern State Penitentiary is. All right, teams, before we announce our decision, uh, on behalf of all of us, we just want to say thank you uh, for coming out here. Uh, you really showed us some kick-ass investigations. You really did, both of you, okay? Teams, you do know that this is a competition and that there can only be one winner. The judges and myself have decided the winner of Paranormal Challenge Eastern State Penitentiary is Tri-State Paranormal. Oh, that was awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I was amazed when they announced our, that we were the winners. Um, very happy. Wanted to jump up and down. I think actually I did jump up and down. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish Tri-State Paranormal the best. I really do. The experience overall was fantastic. I would definitely do this again. Tri-State Paranormal were using the history just very, very well. And it comes down to evidence as well. Uh, I was thoroughly impressed. And that wraps up another Paranormal Challenge. Where are we going to go to next?